Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and early impressions for Taiko Frenzy VR, a game that was released on the Steam Store May 31st, 2024. It normally retails for $13. It's on a release sale, 10% off. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. And I'm testing it out on the Meta Quest 3 using Link Cable. Taiko Frenzy is obviously a music rhythm game. We're using the traditional Taiko. Uh, I don't know much about this instrument, but uh, I can tell you that the notes for this require you to do either right or left. And those will be colored in red. On the side, those will be colored in blue again, left or right. And then there'll be stronger hits, which as you can see, these are normal hits. And then stronger hits will sh turn it pink. And there'll also be very quick hits like this. And then there'll be a power up where you lift your hands up to get bonus points. Uh, there is a takeo pass. What that means is you just unlock stuff a as you play along. So this is all just by playing. There's no monetization of any kind. These are, you know, stuff like little charms. As you see the drumsticks here, these are better looking than the default. You know, a drum skin, stuff like that. So as you can see, you know, there's stuff to unlock as you go along. Different charms, different colors, different drumsticks, stuff like that. Uh settings there's not much on the settings i did lower the music volume to 44 the reason i did that is just so you can hear the the drumsticks the drum hits more and latency if you want to do that also you can calibrate height so not just ca calibrate latency calibrate height as well let's go ahead and let's just play let's play hajimari on normal difficulty and as you can see there's uh, modifiers as well no rim notes no accents and lefty mode, 0%. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and let's just play. I am playing seated. And you want to do the power ups as often as possible. But obviously the trouble is you have to pick your right spot. You don't want to m mess up because you're trying to get the power up. Oh crap. I messed up big time. Ah, I messed up. That ending was pretty difficult. Ah, uh, I got a silver, finally, <laughs> finally. So I played this quite a few times just to practice. Again, that was normal difficulty. As you can see, I'm number three on the leaderboard, which I'm happy about. And let's hit continue.
and as you can see you just get XP from doing from playing so and you unlock stuff pretty easily or at least at the start you unlock lots of stuff and obviously the longer you play the, the harder it is to unlock stuff now there's different soundtracks so this is more the traditional stuff as you can hear but this is more of the like rock so let's go ahead and let's play and let's play something I have as you can see I haven't played this one I don't know which one I want to play though I think I'm gonna go for the shortest one this one I haven't played this one so keep that in mind and we're gonna up the difficulty we're gonna play it on hard let's see let's see what happens we're probably gonna fail miserably so let's see what happens Maybe I got a bronze, maybe no, no, I didn't get a bronze. <laughs> I did terrible. <laughs> but I'm number one. I'm number one. I'm the only person who's played this on hard. And you can see why it's difficult. It's not easy. So we did get on at least we got an unlock. Let's see what happened. Let's let's look at our Let's claim the bamboo skin. I'm gonna go ahead and uh equip that just just to see what it looks like. So let's go. Um, bamboo skin. Where, where, where is it? It's right here. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I like, I like the hair on better, but we'll, we'll take it. So, lastly, we're gonna play on expert. We're gonna do fire sticks on expert. Somebody has done this. Skay, shout out to Skay, whoever you are. You got a good score. I probably cannot beat that, but we'll, we'll try it out. Let's see. Let's play Fire Sticks on expert difficulty. This is probably past my my skill level.
Oh, crap. I'm doing terrible. Oh, that was terrible. I did terrible. <laughs> it's it's such a different way of drumming than I'm used to. I mean, I'm not a drummer anyways, but it, when you have to do this and quickly switch, it, it it's so uh, it, it's so different than what you're used to doing. So it just takes a while to. Obviously, I've only played about in my in my defense. I've only played about an hour before I started recording. So keep that in mind, <laughs> and that's why I did terrible. <laughs> Okay, well, that's expert mode, and I probably won't be trying that again. Uh, let's hit continue. So, uh, that's the game. What do I think about Taiko Frenzy? Uh, it is fun. I've been having fun playing it. Um, but uh, I would say it's definitely not as good as Ragnarok or, or you know, the other major beat uh, music rhythm games. You know, like Beat Saber, Ragnarok. Uh, and I've noticed a couple of issues. Luckily, it didn't happen during the video recording. Actually, I, I was recording earlier, and I experienced the uh, my tracking went away. Now, I don't know if that's the game's fault. That's why I didn't include that. And that's why I decided not to upload that video, because I wasn't sure. Because I think from the last update, I think I've experienced a, a loss of tracking on the MetaQuest 3. Not frequently, but every now and then, usually like on menus. Uh, and that happened during some of the drumming on uh, when I was recording earlier, but I decided not to include that video because I wasn't sure if it was a game's fault or, you know, since the last update, it seems like my MetaQuest 3 has been losing tracking sometimes, not, not, not all the times. Like I said, I mostly only notice it during some menus. Uh, I really haven't noticed it during gameplay for other games though. So I, I, I honestly just don't know if it's the game's fault or not. So that's why I decided not to include it. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed that is the game's fault, though, I've noticed some uh, some stutters that happen every now and then. Now, it doesn't happen often. For the most part, it's running at a steady 90 frames per second. But uh, like I said, I played this about an hour before I started recording. I noticed about two stutters during the hour of gameplay. Um, and again, I didn't include that, that video, but mostly because I lost tracking as well. So <laughs> because of that, I decided, you know, I don't know if it's the game's fault, but definitely I think the stuttering is the game's fault. And it, as you can see, it's a low polygon world, so it really should be running, 
you know, with a music rhythm game, you want it to run at a solid at least 90 frames per second. Probably want it to run higher than that. Probably want it to run at a steady 120 frames per second. Just because it really matters, you know. You don't want any latency. And if that happens because of frame rate drops, you're not going to perform as well as you otherwise would have. Even with the uh, with the calibrate latency. You know, because those, those frame rate drops will happen suddenly. They're not there all the time. So, you know, calibrating latency is not going to help you there. Uh, I do like that there's a take pass and you unlock stuff as you go along. Um, I like to see different environments, not just this one. And, you know... It'd have been fun if we could somehow include the gong as well, you know, maybe as just something additional just to uh, make it more, you know, besides doing this, if you every now and then have to hit the gong as well, I think that would have been fun. I, you know, give it a little bit extra challenge. Uh, there's 20 songs included in the game. I, I thought they were all pretty good. Uh, and obviously, like I said, you can do custom songs as well. And it is, uh, and it is uh, compatible with the Beat Saber custom songs as well so keep that in mind uh and the editor is one of the best that i've seen it's really super easy to use um you do need to make it a, a wave file though or there's another type of file but it, it doesn't do mp4s though which i thought was odd uh but yeah overall i think this is a solid music rhythm game like I've said before, music rhythm games are it's probably the most difficult category in VR because there's so many good VR music rhythm games, including Ragnarok and Beat Saber. And when you're competing against the big dogs, you know, it's going to be very di difficult to compete. And uh, I would say this game is definitely not on that level. Uh, I didn't really notice any issues with the hit detection. I will say you need to be in the right position. And what I mean by that is you need to be seated at the right distance from the taiko drum and also at the right height because if you don't it's going to be super easy to to uh to miss hit but i think right now i'm at the perfect place where i didn't notice any miss hits on my part uh as far as you know s swinging and not re the hit not registering is what i mean by that but obviously a lot of user error there was a lot of uh bad playing by me so yes i did miss a lot of notes just because i I, you know, I really had a hard time with the switching ups. Actually, this is the easy part, but it's doing these in combination with these that, that really trips me up. Because it's such a different, it's like a diff, totally different movement. And it's hard, and you have to switch back real fast. And so it can get very easy to get discombobulated. That's what happened to me. As you can see, I was just doing terrible on the last one on, on the expert difficulty. Uh, but overall, I think this is a solid uh music rhythm game like i said this is not a full review this is early impressions only but if you're into this type of music if you're into the taiko drums i would recommend it for you uh but otherwise you know i, I think it's uh it's uh not in the top tier of music rhythm games uh it's definitely in like a tier below those uh and if if i have to rate it ooh, it'd be a tough one to rate you know i, I Again, this is early impression, not a full review. Uh, but given the technical issues that I did face, I'm going to give it just a very tepid 6.5 out of 10. Again, I'm not 100% if the issues were just with me, uh, something with my rig or the way it's set up. But uh, I did lose tracking like uh, at least three different times, I think, during the one hour, over an hour now of gameplay. And uh, I, I did notice some stutters, and I think the stutters are definitely the game's fault, and that just should never happen for this type of game. But I think it's it's good for what it is, you know, and and, it, and it's budget priced as well. Uh, $13 is, is a pretty good price for all that you're getting here. So a 6.5 might sound like a bad score, but it really isn't. I think this is a solid VR music rhythm game. But the competition is just so tough in this category. That's why the, the score might seem a little bit low. And that's, again, because there's so many good VR music rhythm games, so many excellent ones. Uh, so that's why I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. But I still think it's a good game. I think it's pretty solid. If you're into Taiko drums, I would recommend it for you. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions for Taiko Frenzy VR. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.